We have to change our consciousness if we're going to become great. And great, as always, is reaching your potential, whatever that is. Changing your consciousness. Rising to a higher conscious level. Some people have compared it to increasing in vibration. That's the way some people talk about higher consciousness. And when I was young, I wrote this book that I never published. I was maybe 18 or 19 years old. It was called the, uh, Your Forgotten Roots. And anyways, this book was kind of spiritual, a spiritual regurgitation of everything I had read. <laughs> it wasn't very original, but there were some original things in there. I really got hooked on this idea when I was younger that you should raise your vibration levels. I still think, you know, my spiritual side still thinks there's something to that maybe. But I remember I used to have these wooden tops, uh, like the spinning top, right? And you spin the top and then you just kind of watch it spin. You, you do the same thing with a quarter. You just like, you know, you flick a quarter on a table and it rotates. Now, what's really interesting about a spinning top is that the faster it goes, it doesn't lose control because it's going faster, but the faster it goes, the better balance it has. The faster it goes, the more graceful it looks. And I equated that to having higher energy, a higher level of consciousness. And you want that higher level of consciousness in all you do. So if you start to consider what a higher level of consciousness means, it would mean having positive emotions, positive feelings. It would mean feeling confident. It would mean feeling calm. It would mean feeling in control. It would mean being happy. It would mean being invigorated. It would, it would mean a lot of positive things. And that's how we, so to speak, increase our energy level. That's how if we, if our life or our game or our work or our school is represented in that spinning top, the faster we're spinning, meaning the higher vibrations we have, the more graceful we are. The faster the top spins the more balance we have. People want to look at us, watch us work. It's mesmerizing to watch a top glide along a table. We're mesmerizing to watch when, we're, when we have higher energy and are graceful and on balance. Now, what happens as the top loses energy, as it loses speed? It crashes, of course, but on the way down, it's ugly. It's wobbling all over the place. So if you start to buy into self-doubt, if you start to consider yourself not capable of things, if, you, if you're depressed, if you're moody, if you're angry, if you're fearful, in my mind, you kind of look like that wobbling top losing energy. Your, lo your consciousness is dropping in vibration. If I look back on my life, the things that make me cringe about the things I've done, it's when I was in a lower vibrational state, if you will. When I was, anger was usually, every time I got too angry or lost my temper, I look back and think, oh my God, why did I send that email? Why did I make that phone call? Why did I act that way? What is wrong with me? I was that wobbling top, right? So I've compounded the anger, the flash of anger, the temper with guilt now, because now I feel guilty about it and ashamed. So you really start, as you get into these negative energy fields, as your vibration lowers, they start to pile on top of each other because anger leads to guilt, leads to shame, right? So think about that in regards to your entire life. How can you increase your energy? How can you become like the gracefully spinning top with perfect balance? How can you feel positive emotion more frequently? You know, I think a top, when it's at its, in its best form, it's in the zone. Like, that's the zone. If you can keep that top spinning, right, by doing mental training, by meditating, by practicing mindfulness, by listening to talks like this and other people, listening to, um, listening to spiritual literature, reading self-help books, what, listening to great music, essentially what you're doing is as the top's spinning, you're adding more energy to it. You're keeping it spinning. Now, if you're a basketball player, we can think of a basketball thing spinning on a fingertip, right? The faster it's going and the more balance it stays there and it's beautiful. As it 
loses energy or you lose balance, you start moving all over and it's kind of ugly. <laughs> so I, I can compare it to basketball too, but try to transform your consciousness into a higher vibration. And just as the negative emotions latch onto each other and link up, produce more negative, the positive emotion produce more positive. As you're calm, you're happier. As you're happier, you see the world different. You're more optimistic. You start to think things are possible. So as you rise in consciousness, it makes it easier to stay in those higher states. But make no mistake, you have to, you have to practice. You have to keep working on your, your consciousness. You have to make sure you do whatever you have to do to maintain those positive emotional states, those positive feeling states. So you're graceful and on balance, like a top with a ton of speed weaving and gracefully going back and forth across a table.